You were put through your paces in this film, weren't you? Yeah, yeah I mean, um, there was a lot of physical work and emotional work also that went into this. I mean, I did a lot of, um, I did a lot of physical training. I did a lot, sorry, I did a lot of physical training for this and, and agility training as well. Um, I had to, well, I had to actually camp out with wolves in order to kind of, um, uh, kind of really get that uh, wolf, how wolves interact with each other, and I brought that to the role. And with the um, the emotional side of the character, I was 11 actually when I, I was 10 when I got involved in this, and 11 when I um, uh, when I started my principal photography, and I had to kind of play a 14 or 15 year old um, as an 11 year old, and that that was pretty challenging. So. I was going to say, and I imagine though when you're working with uh, a director who's also an actor, you could really work closely together, and and he guide you through. Yeah, exactly. Well said. So basically, I mean, Andy really is an actor's director because he knows what it's like to be in front of the camera as well. And I mean, it's really great because he's able to kind of give you that freedom that he knows an actor needs, um, but as well as being able to kind of guide you and push you through the character. So I think that was really great. And it must have been helpful as well working with the other actors there in performance capture suits. That must have been helpful. Yeah, that was really helpful. But um, I mean, uh, it, it was really helpful to uh, you know to get that kind of feedback that you wouldn't get with uh, with a tennis ball or a ping pong ball or something on blue screen. But I mean, obviously, when you are across from these guys, you do have to kind of up your game because they are like the best in the business.